Welcome back to the channel. Special video for you today. We're at Mid Ohio Racetrack with Compass Racing. Check out the car. I'll be quiet for two seconds here. If you guys saw my previous video, I'll link that up in the corner up here. But we did the private shakedown of the 720S GT3 car at its race day. It's the first race running in the GTD class here. Uh, Paul Holt and Matt Plum will be running the car. Uh, I must say, what do you guys think of the livery? It looks crazy good. Really bright, bright compass orange. Um, and the car just, as usual, looks insane. I mean, you guys can see it back here. And if you guys have ever been to a race, there's always cars flying by, there's always loud sounds, so you'll have to excuse that while I'm talking here, but check, check out the inside of this thing too while we're here. And the massive wing. I'm gonna film what I can for you. Hope you guys are enjoying this motorsport content. are starting in the 570 GT4. They're starting fifth. So you guys saw this car in the previous video, but here it is again. If you haven't seen it, so we're starting fifth. Kuno and Paul are running it in the pilot challenge today, so hopefully I'll uh, get a good win. guys like some of that footage from the pit box. Unfortunately, the best seat in the house is probably the people watching on TV or streaming or online. So it's tough to get some footage and whatnot, but we're doing all right. There's a lot of cautions, a lot of cars going off. Um, so hopefully we can get some consistent racing, get some positions made up. We'll see uh, how the rest of the race goes. This race is getting really interesting because it's starting to rain. It wasn't supposed to rain. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna be real interesting. This is Ron. Ron, how are we doing that in that race? We did great. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, did great. Unfortunately uh, we got hit by another car. Yeah, we got but, hit. Uh, not our fault. Yeah. Not our fault. We went back out there to get some work. That's racing. Tomorrow will be the day. And tomorrow should be the good day. Here's the car pretty much torn apart. This is what is all your rear bumper pieces, the side pieces. But uh, yeah, pretty crazy. A lot going on. Just getting some things tidied up. Tomorrow is the race. So this video will probably be combined into probably one big weekend video. But the race is tomorrow, the GTD class. This will be the debut for North America. So we're pretty excited. It's a little late getting to qualifying. So this car, we are, what are we, P7 tomorrow? P P7, I think tomorrow? P7 or P8 tomorrow. So decent, uh, good first qualifying outing. Buttoning up the car, shutting down the garage and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have a little more content for you. The weather's supposed to be a lot nicer than today. Um, leave it to me to bring the rain and the crap weather. Uh, you guys can, you know, see out here. Pretty junk weather. So hopefully uh, we have some better 
better weather tomorrow, I can get out and about, show you guys some more stuff, and uh, hopefully we get a good result on this car. So, see you guys tomorrow. Welcome back. It's gate two here. It's race day. Well, what time's the race? Gonna be on, gonna be on the, gonna be on the vlog here. What time's the race? Uh, 40. Fan walk is 1220. Uh, 140 is the race. So, debut of this car. I'm going to try to walk around the paddock. Hopefully, the fan walk. I'll get some other cars in here because I want to show you guys some of the multi class stuff. But uh, it should be a good day. Hopefully, the sun will come out. Weather has just been just been junk this week. It's supposed weekend. to warm up. It's supposed to be like 64 a little bit later. So. We'll take 64 with no rain. As long as the rain holds yeah, out. Yeah, as long as the rain holds out, we should be good. So next up is the autograph session. Hopefully I get some time lapse, get some crowd around the car. Rumor has it, McLaren Senna might be showing up. So once that gets here, if it gets here, I'll be sure to get you guys some cool footage of that. I believe I know what car it might be in it. If it's the car that I think it is, it's a really, really crazy spec McLaren Senna. So uh, I think you guys will like seeing that content. Hopefully the weather holds out. That'll show up. Big shout out to Compass Racing yeah. for allowing me access. As always, everybody here on the team has made me feel quite at home. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you're following them on Instagram, at Compass Racing. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, at Compass Racing as well. So make sure to support them and follow them uh, along with their journey with the 720S GT3 and the GTD class in IMSA. What do you guys think of this? I'll show you the carbon here. This is MF Autos on Instagram. Make sure you guys are following them. They've got some pretty, pretty sick cars. I promise you that. Massive man. All carbon, everything. You guys thought the race car was carbon? Well, it's basically the same thing here. I mean, you can even see down to the floor mats. Just a little floor mat bolted in. Other than that, raw carbon. Let me know if you guys had to pick Senna or P1. Which one do you guys choose? Comment down below. So we got the Senna right here. Autograph session will be right here. And Matt and Paul will be signing some autographs. And we're gonna do driver change practice. Here we go. I just really came for the M&M's. I heard there was M&M's here. Nice. I didn't mean, see they're any good. <laughs> oh, now we got a taste test. These are the fun things that happen at Compass Racing. So nice. if you guys are coming to the races, make sure you stop by the signing tent and you get some goodie, goodies giveaway. First people here usually get a special nice. prize. Both cars lined up. 
let me know in the comments below which one would you choose. Paul, you gotta pick one. Set up. For me? Yeah. GT3. GT3. Any day. GT3, there you go. From Paul himself. Oh, wait. Well, I can't take this on the road. Well, if I had to have a street car. Well, one. <laughs> I know someone's gonna plate one. Someone over in the. Someone not in, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, um, I'd take that if I, if I could get one. Huh? See, it's funny though, because we were talking about this, look. So this has the actual badge. <laughs> and the, that is the Electro super, form. Super track version, ultra light badge. But the race car doesn't have it. It's the regular one. <laughs> We're doing the grid walk and they squeeze through here. Here's our beauty. The first form car. Ryan Hardwick's in there. Turner Motorsport. BMW. Not a lot of talk here, I'm just gonna walk you through some of the cars. R8. Excuse me. The Lexus. I like this car. AMG. You squeeze through here. One of my personal favorites, don't tell anybody, the Porsche. Love this car. Look at the size of the ring and the diffuser. So we'll keep making our way up through here. Go up to Corvette. <laughs> C7R. Corvette needs to sell these. Another BMW. Keep making our way up here. It's a pretty long grid walk, guys. Of course, the Ford GT. Prototype cars. So let's can look in here. Definitely a tight fit. Yeah. A little too packed up here, so we're gonna head back down the other side here. These grid walks are always cool. If you haven't been to an IMSA event, you gotta come out because you can get out here. And walk and get up close with all the cars. It's definitely a cool experience. I highly, highly recommend. If you have the opportunity, make sure you come out to one of these IMSA races. Looks good outside of the garage here. We're starting P8, so stay tuned. Up here in the pit box, race starting soon here. Hopefully you guys enjoy.
above the concrete wall, so it's so much louder than it is just hopping down there. Which is, I wasn't expecting that. Pit stop, so uh, we'll see how the rest of the race goes. Looking over the car from the retirement, but at the same time, they're also prepping it for the next race. After a race day, whether the car was retired or finished, you gotta basically take everything apart and I'm gonna say rebuild it, but make sure everything's perfect, ready to go, ready for the next practice, warm ups, all that. This is the first car in North America, I believe it's the fourth chassis. It was a good weekend overall. Learned a lot about the car. Paul and Matt still getting used to it. Had a really good driver change and pit stop, so there's always some positives. Uh, you just gotta find them and then look past the negatives. Learn from things that happen. If it was your mistake, if it wasn't your mistake and it was just unfortunate, you just kind of pick your head up and, and move forward. So really, really happy that I had the opportunity to come out here and film this. A big thank you to Joe and Carl from Compass Racing. The team, everybody out here, you guys always make me feel like a part of the team. It is really nice to kind of stand around here and not be in the way, but be also welcomed at the same time and be encouraged to come film things and hang out. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Do me a big favor. Please go follow Compass Racing at Compass Racing. They're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as well, at Troy Sowers, because I usually post a lot of this stuff ahead of time before it comes out on YouTube. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see all the teasers ahead of time. With that being said, do me a favor, also give this video a thumbs up. That'll help boost it up in YouTube's algorithm. Make sure you guys click the red subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.